Hey Mark, it's Al Dunning. I got your video of your one-time Pepto Colt, and he looks like a really nice Colt. Um, you know, he has the right body style, all that for um, doing what you're going to do with that Colt. Um, you know, he looks like a big stopper, and he's strong. You know, here's here's some of my thoughts that hopefully will help you as we go along here. You know, he goes through that turn working that cow, and you. Get, your hands get real quick and he gets his head up and, and what I want you to start thinking about I want you to slow down I want you to make sure that first of all you're balanced okay that you're a little off on the outside of that horse but not way off on the outside of that horse when you're going across that pen I want you to make sure you use your hands both of them up into the cow not just pulling his head where he gets a big body bow away from that cow when he's going across that pen the reason that is why I want you more like this, you know, going across there, is that when the horse stops straight, they land on both hocks better. The way you're stopping him, you're stopping him up into that cow, and he's, he's just really shoving his inside leg up under him. It makes it harder, even stiffer, for him to make that turn. Okay? So keep your hands more level, take him across that pen and stop him, and hold him right there. And if the cow's fast, don't overload him like that. Don't think you got, got to just go get it right now. You know, take your time, rock him back, and pull his nose through that turn. And when you pull his nose through that turn, bend his head and follow through with that outside rein and outside leg to make him come through there clean. So what I'm seeing is you're getting too quick to the stop, too quick with your hands in that turn, hitting his head. He's stiffening up, and then you know he's getting through that turn. He's an athlete enough that he's still getting it, but you're really causing him uh, more. Uh, problems by letting his head get up, pulling him too quick, being too quick with your hands, and or overloading him with the kind of cow you're working. So, a couple other things is when you pull, pull your hand not out to the side like this, because again, that bows the horse out rather than just bends them and makes them come through the turn. So, keep your hand in by your hip when you pull. Um, when he comes through a turn, or, or when you're going with that cow, let him, keep him collected, but let him see if he reads that cow first. So you're so good, so athletic, you're reading the cow for him, you're going over there and <clears throat> catching him right with that cow. Let him see what he does, and instead of pulling him back hard, think about just bridling him up. Think about just collecting him up, getting him collected, then rock him back, pull him to your hip, through that turn and go. You know, don't at this stage, don't be thinking, I have to hold every cow I work. Think about the form. That will be the most important thing um, that you're doing uh, is just concentrate on that form. You know, part of pulling your horse right is making sure they land on both hocks, then they adjust and make that turn. So if when you're when you're running across that pen and pulling hard on the inside, you can see in that video that horse is shoving up with that inside foot, and that's blocking that turnaround. Rather than both hocks stop being straight, the potty bending and then coming through that turn. Work on some of that stuff and send me another video, and I'm looking forward to helping you.